Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we're going to be talking about our eclipse energy coming to us October of 2023. The eclipse energy that we're going to have two eclipse and this is like my first of several videos that I'll be doing about this. So make sure you stay tuned because there is a lot of changing energy with this and it's going to make a lot of sense once you see everything. So let's talk about it. We have um, first we have on October 14th, we have a solar eclipse um, at 21 degrees of Libra. And this is going to be bringing in some amazing changes and it is going like right over the state of Texas. So this is going to be really affecting the people, not only in Texas, but kind of all over the United States, but it's going to be like zoom right across the state of Texas. So this is going to be making some changes and make changes quickly. Um, next one is going to be a lunar eclipse and that's going to be um, five degrees in the sign of Taurus and that will be on October 28th. Now I will tell you these are really kind of some amazing energies. Our eclipses in um, the springtime were in Mars energy and this is more of a Venus energy and so this is going to be bringing up more and more energies because it's really the final eclipses in the kind of like the category of or this season of Taurus Scorpio access um, and it's going to be making some big changes and I guarantee you people are going to be like whew, I'm ready for some changes. Um, now these eclipses are going to be like kind of what we saw in May is not going to be anything. These are going to be like, oh my gosh, these are really, really strong energies. These are going to be bringing in some powerful changes for a lot of people. Now I will tell you, um, the uh, lunar eclipse is going to be um, a really a, a tight energy because we've got Mercury and Mars conjunct in Scorpio and that's going to be bringing in some amazing energy and some changes in there and our moon will be kind of like um, in um, kind of like in an interesting connection with Uranus in the sign of Taurus. So these are going to be bringing us some amazing changes. And of course, Jupiter is going to be really, really close. It's almost going to be in that conjunction stage of like really, really close to us. Or I'm sorry, not in conjunction, in our opposition. So it's going to be really close to Earth. So it's going to be making some, some big changes, some really big modifications in there. Um, hoping um, Jupiter um, really has some positive influence on this lunation because it's going to be like Jupiter is of course the planet of abundance and wealth and changes and luck and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really hoping for some great energy with that and you never know until that actually comes up and changes some things around us. But I will tell you that one of the interesting parts of this um, is this is kind of uh, changing that lunar cycle that we've been in since early 2022. Now, one of the great things is things that started back then that you're kind of like, when is this going to end? When is this going to end? It's going to be coming to a close right as we get close to this eclipse energy. It is going to be bringing things up to heal it, move it out, and just kind of like, yes, we're ready to go. Um, and I will guarantee you that these are going to break some amazing ends. And a lot of times because of that Venus energy, it's almost like, boom, we've got to make it dramatic. We've got to add a little bit of that touch of drama in there. And I will guarantee you um, with all of that going on, this is kind of like our last major things for 2023. We still have... Um, Pluto in the sign of Aquarius and Saturn in the sign of Pisces. And I guarantee you those are kind of making some changes as well. This is still going to be one of the last major kind of like kicks of energy for 2023. And we kind of like sail through the last of it. Not so strong, but kind of like, let's make this easy. And this is going to be a much easier energy um, for the end of the year. But I guarantee you these two are going to be like, wow, in energy, really, really crazy strong. So let's do some angel cards and see what angels want us to know or understand um, about these last two eclipses of 2023. So let's get into this energy and I have a couple of them that are upside down. I don't know why they're upside down, but they're really upside down. So let's go here. This is the first one catching my attention. This is support. Your angels and guides are supporting us as we make these changes. They are really like rooting for us to make those changes. And if there's things that you've started in 2023 around that first eclipse, it's one of those like it's coming to a close or it's going to be changing, like closing one chapter and opening another one. Doesn't mean it's ending. It just means it's moving into that new um, changeable energy. So 
let's get ready for that. Um, this is all about freedom. There are going to be a lot of people really craving their freedom. It has already been going on in 2023. A lot of people like, I'm not liking these changes. I'm ready to voice things out. And I will tell you that that's kind of the interesting energy um, with kind of like our Pluto in the sign of Aquarius and Saturn in the sign of Pisces. I guarantee you those two are going to be really pushing more and more freedom ideas, more and more freedom. Like, I don't want to do what everybody else tells me to do. I want my own freedom. I want it this way. I want it that way. So making in some great changes for us and some amazing kind of upgrades for us. So it's kind of like, yeah, here we go. Um, our guardian angels letting us know like they are here for us, but also kind of these changes and upgrades um, are things that you've been wanting. And sometimes it's like, I want it. I want it. No, I don't want it. No, 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 no. I want it. I want it. So make sure that you're really clear about this because your guardian angels are there to help you kind of support you as these changes come about. And I guarantee you, everybody is going to be making some changes. So if you're kind of left behind, I guarantee you're going to be like, wait, everybody got on and I didn't get on. Yeah, um, this one is truth and integrity. Make sure that you are dealing with things truthfully and with integrity and kind of what's coming up next. How do I deal with this part next? What do I want to change or modify with all of this energy? It is going to have a great energy about with these eclipse energies but I guarantee you things are going to be changing and modifying let me pull one more I wasn't I wasn't going to do it but they're like pull one more pull one more pull one more here is the one they want you to know they won't let me finish it without it doing meditation is going to be a mate major major thing and it doesn't have to be during um, the uh, eclipse energies or anything else, but around that time frame are going to make you feel more grounded, more ready to deal with what's going on next. It's going to help in a lot of different areas. And I guarantee you, it's going to make you be ready for whatever's next for you. I thank you so much for joining me today. And I know that we'll be talking again soon. Mm -hmm.